Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hey, hi, Kevin. I'm Ralph. I'm behind the camera. Welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And uh, are you doing a juggling act today? Well, I wish I could. These would end up, I think, in a big mess uh, on the floor. But what I've got here is two, actually, three eggplants. I love eggplant. Um, they're beautiful. I just, you know, the color um, and. You know, there's a lot you can do with eggplant, and one day we're going to do eggplant parmesan. But not today. We, not today, but we a couple people have asked, and that is a favorite dish, no question about it. Uh, but today we're going to actually make baba ganoush, okay, uh, which is an eggplant dip. Uh, this is a Mediterranean, Middle Eastern kind of a... Uh, um, specialty a very popular appetizer side dish yeah and if you have ever tried it you probably notice that it's a very smoky flavor uh, and hopefully you've heard of it hopefully you've tried it and now hopefully after watching this you'll be able to make your own yeah I kind of think of it as sort of a cousin to hummus hmm, yeah. in a way well in terms um, of it being there a dip. are some similar ingredients uh, but uh, it is where hummus is really made uh, the, the main ingredients in hummus is uh, chickpeas. chickpeas or our garbanzo beans. Uh, this uses eggplant. I'm just going to take uh, peel off sort of the little uh, flowery kinda, top. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really come off, but I'm going to just peel it off here. This the sort of the little part that hangs down, the little collar. One thing that both baba ganoush and hummus have in common is what we're looking at right here which is uh, tahini mm -hmm. uh, and sesame seed paste right? yes uh, tahini is just ground up sesame seeds um, you can find this uh, pretty much in any market uh, in the international um, section aisle you know uh, here in the Detroit area we have a lot of um, Good Middle option. Eastern markets that have tahini everywhere it's another, very easy to find another common ingredient is what we're looking at here is garlic mm -hmm. um, so the here's your basic ingredients oh, lemon too. That's okay also for hummus. for this um, eggplant tahini salt garlic lemon juice and olive oil and olive oil and uh, a little just a little bit of uh, chili powder um, which kind of has cumin in it uh, you could just use cumin too if you want uh, we'll get to that. Um, a little goes a long way with that, so yeah, you have to be mild, careful really, and mild. Eggplant is the main attraction here. We're going to put it all together in the food processor. Before we get there, though, let's talk about the eggplant. Okay. Two things you need to do with the eggplant. You need to sort of um, give it a char, which will give it that smokiness, and then roast it in oh, the oven. So you okay. char it first and then? Char it first and then roast it. Oh, okay. okay, now, if you live in a place unlike Detroit, where we are, where right now it's 12 degrees outside, you could do this on a grill, on a gas grill or mm. a charcoal grill. Uh, if you have a gas stove, which we don't, you could take your eggplant and you could literally just put it right over the flame and char it that way. Oh, like I do with um, like you do with jala your jalapeno. jalapenos when I'm making salsa. Um, but since neither of those is an option um, for us, I'm going to do this. I'm going to prepare the eggplants by just putting a few little holes in them. Okay, and I'm going to put these under the broiler in my electric oven. So this okay. um, scoring it or whatever you call it that you're doing with I'm the fork is it. to keep it from what exploding or something? Yeah, there's a lot of water in eggplant. So well, in all outlet. vegetables for that matter. But this keeps, uh, keeps gives it an escape valve mm -hmm. sort of thing or keeps it from doing something you don't want. And as often as the case with water in vegetables like the water in cucumbers that's what can make it taste sort of on the bitter side. So if you can extract some of that water, that's good. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's turn our broiler on here. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put 
these under the broiler and I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on them again we, we want to do is we want to char the skin okay we'll come back when this starts doing its thing so what does that take a couple minutes yeah probably we probably got about five or seven minutes of broiling time then we're just going to let it roast. Okay, so you okay. want to keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn too much? Right. You just okay. want to put a, a little char on the uh, outer skin. Again, we're going for the kind of the smokiness okay. of the eggplant. Okay, And then we're going to roast them off. Okay. okay. They've been under for, oh, I don't know, maybe about four minutes or so. You see how the skin's starting to wrinkle here? Yes. Now, again, because we're not using an open flame. Uh... Or grill. Or grill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the other, turn this around here, so that we can kind of get the broiler on both sides. It's hard because you know they're dark purple, so it's hard to see as they char, but they do. So you just got to kind of keep an eye on it here. Um, you can you, smell you'll, too. You'll smell it, and you'll see the you'll see the skin start to wrinkle. So what we want to do is we want to put a char. Uh, around it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the oven from broil to bake at about 375 degrees and then we're just going to let them roast in the hot oven for another eh, 25 minutes or so. And that'll soften up the and that'll get them soft and everything so, else. But I think Ooh. see how they're bubbling and bristling and, and, and look at the look how soft they're getting see yeah. and see the wrinkle okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the broiler, and I'm just going to turn the oven. Um, broiler off, oven on. Yes, broilers off, oven to 375 degrees. I love this aroma. Okay. The kitchen's filled with that smell of the charring of the skin, like so when doing peppers. So the uh, timer went off. The timer went off. Yep, yeah. and we've had a 375 degree oven. Uh, 25 minutes. Okay. Oh, now, that liquid. I've got a paring knife here. Oh, yeah, look. Look how soft that is. So See that's that? what you want. You want it to... This should just go without any resistance. Go right in, and that's when you know it's baked and yeah. it's soft on the inside. So we're going to turn the oven off. Ooh, that heat feels good, doesn't it, on a cold day like today? It does. So we're going to... You can see that... Uh, some of them have some of the liquid has come out but these need to cool completely okay um, so it's gonna just just let it sit again we don't use the skin of the eggplant so after it's completely cooled what we'll do is we will just take out we'll cut the eggplant and we're just gonna take out the pulp okay or the flesh um, but these are too hot to handle okay. so we're just gonna let them cool off and we will come back in a little while and uh we're baking old boxing gloves today on cattle <laughs> <laughs> that's what they look like don't they look like or uh, old rubber shoes old rubber galoshes but they don't smell like it. they smell delicious yeah, actually they do. these they have are that nice roasted we haven't really done flavor. eggplants before or eggplant on the program we haven't so. done a lot with eggplant. and i love eggplants so i'm glad you do uh, i transferred them off the Cooking sheet, sheet. Yeah, and into a glass bowl here where I'm going to cover them with some plastic wrap and we'll let them cool off completely uh, before we kind of peel into them. So uh, we will come back once uh, these have peeled completely. Of course, this will also help soften that skin up a little bit. See how you're getting a steam in there? Um, Again, we don't use the skin, uh, but it'll make them a little bit easier to peel. All right, Ralph, take a look. Our eggplants have completely cooled. Wow, look at all the and look at all the down. water that came out of them. So, what I'm going to do now is transfer it to the cutting board. Now, take a look at this skin. See how the skin just peels back. Wow. Isn't that great? Easy breezy. And then that reveals this the roasted flesh on the inside. And that's, that's what we want. So what I'm going to do here is trim this top. And then let me get a large 
spoon. Can't get over all the liquid that's in there. And that's you said that's bitter. Yes, it is. So that's nothing. We that's can nothing. Do good you with. don't want to drink it, okay? I'm gonna just scoop this eggplant off the skin because it's all soft and Look cooked and how roasted. How beautiful that just comes out, right? Roasted. Going now these seeds should get pulverized with everything else. Okay. In the food processor. Yep. So there's one right here. I wonder how they used to do it in the olden days without a food processor. Oh, I, you know, they just probably ground it up. Oh yeah, like a, port, a mortar and pestle. Yep. Yeah. All right, good. Again, you don't want to use any of this skin. I got my little discard bowl here. That we don't need. Okay. So again, we'll take. Kind of shake the liquid off. Mm -hmm. And again, if you just. You could just do it by hand almost. You, yeah, you really could. I mean, you just peel that skin back. You see, away. You want to just scoop it out. I'm using a spoon, but you have to do it gently because the skin is sort of Attached. fragile. Yeah, and you don't you don't want the skin. You just want the the inside yeah. of the eggplant. And sometimes I think like you'll that. see in Baba Ganoush, you'll see a little bit of the darkness yeah, sometimes, of the skin. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you know you might get a, a bit of it, but the yeah. smoked flavor from it being roasted is what you're really getting, and that's the important flavor for this that makes it uh, very. Unique. Yes, it kind of gives it that deepness. Okay, so there's one. I'll get the other one done, and then we'll come on back when we. Okay, put the other look, here's all of our our eggplant. Boy, that uh, really almost fills it up. It almost does. That's a little bit of skin. I'm gonna take that out. I tried to get avoid the skin, but okay, there it is. So now let's put in our other ingredients, which is I've got three cloves of garlic here. I'm just going to, you know, the beautiful part of the fruit processor is it's going to do all the work for us. So I'm just smashing the garlic, which, you know, this is such a great way. You smash it with the side of your your blade like that, and it just, the peel just slips right off. Okay? So I got three cloves of garlic in there. Now, I'm going to put in about an eighth of a teaspoon of chili powder. Okay, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but there's a reason why we don't put a lot in there. And I'm putting in an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. <clears throat> Straight up cumin, because right. the chili powder has cumin in it, but it also has other spices. Um, and I think that uh, will give it a nice kick. Mm -hmm. Then we have to put some salt We're in. We're going to put in a teaspoon and a quarter. Okay, of salt. Again, we can adjust the seasonings as we go, and you may, you know, everyone's tastes are different. Um, mm -hmm. So you may want to put in more of, of one than the other. I'm going to squeeze a, a lemon here, and what, what I'm going to do is we're going to get the juice. I want to two or three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice and of course that just brightens it up and it adds a little contrast with the kind of the smokiness so let's see what we got here one two three okay I wonder if in the um the Middle East and where they originated this, if the lemon also helped to preserve it, you know, to keep oh, it. Oh, could be. And the, the acidity. Yeah, just to, oh, and then the tahini. Tahini, this is key. Okay, you got to have this. We mentioned this earlier. Yeah, you want anywhere between a quarter and a half a cup of tahini in here. That's going to give it a real richness um, okay. and a sesame uh, kind of um, creaminess. Creaminess, yeah. So, how much? I guess you want closer to a half a cup. All right, here we go. Looks like liquid peanut butter. It, you know, and it is like peanut butter, like that natural peanut butter that separates. So sometimes you have to stir it. And then we're going to put in, oh, a good tablespoon of olive oil. Everything's right. better with olive oil. So, here we go. Let it do 
this thing. You see it's coming together. You know, you want to look at a certain consistency too, um, because it is a dip, so you don't want it too loose. Um, Do you want to get your pita bread out to give it a try? Well, I want to try. Oh, see that? See the consistency is very nice here. Okay, but it's got to be like that kind of thick and thick. not too soupy. All right, I'll tell you. Mm, it's good. You can tell what it needs though. But it needs just. Oh, I'm going to put maybe in a quarter teaspoon more salt. And I'm going to put in another uh, tablespoon here of lemon juice. And I'm going to put in maybe another quarter cup of tahini. Okay. We're going to let that run for a minute and then we'll come on back. We are good and blended. Look at that. That beautiful? It is, and it smells good. And uh, you, kind of I, I like the. Uh, you changed some of the. You added some of the. I did for seasoning. Again, I added another little pinch of the chili powder. I mean, maybe a, a smidge more salt. Yeah, I mean a pinch, a pinch of that, a pinch of salt, or uh, lemon juice. So yeah, you, you can all just. I made it to, to, to kind of our taste. But it's got a nice smokiness, yeah. and um, I'm anxious to try this finished version, which uh, Kevin has seasoned. So this is um, what's, what you should do, too, is garnish it. Uh, it's nice here with, we've got some little mini pitas here, and I've got some beautiful, look at this, Ralph. Some nice. What is that? This is just fresh. Parsley sprigs? Parsley, okay. Put that in there. Isn't that great? Yes. And of course, we we the, the truth is always in the eating, in the right? The tasting, and I like those uh, those almost Mediterranean colors you have going in the chest to wear. Mmm. Mmm. You happy with your first ever batch of homemade baba ganoush? I am. Smoky. The garlic. Flavorful. Um. You don't really get the lemon per se. It's just sort of a, a little bit of a freshness, a brightness that's in the background. Um, but a deep, lot of deep flavors. Yeah, you're gonna have to get your own because I'm double dipping here. But this <laughs> is really good. And let's see. I think that this is um. um we didn't even talk about how healthy this is. Mm. I mean, wow. Oh yeah. This is a completely vegetarian dip. It's tasty. Really, you have eggplant, garlic, olive oil, um, you know, uh, a little seasoning, uh, sesame, the tahini, lemon juice. That's it. Uh, it's, it's natural. Uh, it's very healthy and very flavorful. So, you great know appetizer. Here we go with the baba ganoush. We had an absolute great time putting this together. Hope you had a great time being with us, and we will look forward to seeing you next time right here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.